oh this is interesting what do men gain from being wicked oh why do men cheat that's what told us a lot of things do men prefer bbl ladies to natural bodies if a lady's creature is hairy would you be turned off Hey besties, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a very interesting video. I'll be asking my guy friend questions that girls are too scared to ask guys. I mean, crazy ass questions. Wow, um, thanks for intruding. Yep, it's, it's me, Suchi, in the cup. We are what? here. Okay. About to have a lit ass video. And by the way, I didn't come up with this questions all by myself. I asked a question on Instagram. So you guys gave me the questions to ask my very beautiful friend here. Okay, so the first question. Do you feel weird when the girl you're talking to starts to ask you for money? You know what's so crazy? It's weird. If it was like, uh, if it was like, uh, if, if we just started talking and then maybe like a month into it, you're asking me for money. That's weird. Ask your dad for money. Don't ask me for money. Like, that's pretty weird. If you're my girlfriend and we're not just talking and you're asking me for money, then obviously I'll probably give you. But like we're just we're just talking a couple months to ask me for money. And you're probably a broke ass, you know the rest. Oh maybe you're a material girl, but No, nah, you're not a material girl, you're just broke. Don't don't ask me for money. Don't ask don't ask guys for money. Don't do that. Like let them offer you money. Don't don't ask. Don't be, don't be a beg. Why do men ghost? Men ghost because they're not interested. That's why they ghost. <laughs> no, but sometimes <laughs> <laughs> you're so mean the only reason why a guy would ghost on a girl is if if the guy's not interested point blank period like there's no if the guy's not interested he'll ghost or maybe the guy has something else outside right and then obviously he's gonna ghost obviously you go take care of that other person the other girl and then whenever he's ready maybe he wants to fuck or something then he'll probably come back for you if the man is ghosting you but I'll ghost you too period why do men find it difficult to express their feelings and emotions Oh shit! That's I don't, I don't think that's true. I don't think that's I don't think that's a man thing. I think that's just some people. I feel like for myself, I would express my feelings whenever I feel the need to. Why do men cheat? Be honest. Why do men cheat? Greed. Only thing that will make a man cheat is greed. It's not even men, even women. The only reason why a woman will cheat on a guy mm -hmm. is because of greed. And the only reason why a guy will cheat on a woman is because of greed. Like, you can't have somebody and then feel the need to want to have another person while you're with the other person. The guys check who girls follow on socials. Yes, they do. So, wait, the way that girls do it, guys do it too. Oh, yeah. You guys have to do it now. Same thing. We're not, if I like a baby and let's say I check her socials and she's following the hell and niggas. Like, as soon as I got neutrals, I'll probably kind of stay away from that because most of the time, out of all those 15 niggas she's for me, probably fuck like 10 of them. I had a thing with at least five of them, so I don't want that. That's a very wrong estimate, but okay. Yeah. How do you see a lady that keeps coming back to you? Oh, shit. After, after I've said no? No, like, um, how do you see a lady that maybe you got you hurt her and then she keeps coming back, she, she, she keeps forgiving you and letting you in? Damn, she's a wow. Well, she's she's in trouble because it would continue. Mm -hmm. The cycle will never end. I know, so crazy guys see that thing too, man. They know, obviously, I'll make a mistake. She will forgive me, right? So they don't. Because even you would want to always push the boundary, and yeah. when you push, you're like, okay, I can go this. And way. at a point, there's no respect anymore. So you lose respect for you completely. Why do guys get upset when certain girls say they can't be with guys that don't have money? Oh, lie, yeah, like um. If you're a guy, and you get you get angry because maybe like a girl wants a girl wants a, a guy that is, oh, that, has that, is money. that has money. Yeah. You 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 probably don't have that that of money. Course, That's yeah. why you it will insecure. trigger you. But I mean, like, what I advise everyone is that like, if if you're a guy and you don't have enough money, don't go for girls that are like um, high maintenance. Don't do that, yeah. bro. Niggas really get insecure about that shit though. They do. They, they get do. so mad. You're like. What do you mean? Like, but funny enough, I don't think hope. girls say. Everybody. How do you say that? That's chasing money. I hold like, nah, nah. It's just broke. Yeah. Like, yeah. How much do you have in your account? You saw that, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, why is someone asking me that? Yeah, let me tell you what I noticed about this question. You girls are crazy. This shit is, this shit has to just do with money. Like, money. No, it's not money. How that was one slice. Oh, you be broke. Don't mind. Broke. Don't mind. Don't oh, mind him. You be angry. Don't yeah, mind him. He, he, he's, he's, he's trying to bleed to material girls, but he don't understand that we get our bags. 
you girls yeah, are crazy. Yeah, crazy rich, period. What about, like, what about yourselves? Like, do you have business? Oh, my I'm God. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking no. about some of them. Like, chase something for yourself. Don't settle for a rich guy that could take care of, that will take care of you. Yeah. Start a business, you know what I mean? Don't just be sitting down and thinking, okay, I'm just going to wait for a rich man. Mm -hmm. Do something for yourself. If a girl sends you nudes, how do you see her? I probably ask for it, for it, for her to send me the nudes, so I don't see her as anything. But do you know, funny enough, I've had an experience whereby I was video chatting with someone I was seeing, and we're dating, and then he asked me to like show him like something private. <laughs> Seems like you've been there. And I told him no. I was like, no. Like, it was so instant. And when we broke up, Chill. And when we broke up, and like we, after like months, we just like we're talking about everything. And he told me that one of the reasons he respected me was because when he asked me for that, I didn't do it. And like he felt like because I didn't do it for him, I wasn't doing it for anyone else. Like it just felt like, okay, this wasn't something that was normal for me. Do guys respect and like value girls that review their body parts? Or what's your perspective on them? Like yeah. post the post like stuff on Instagram that's revealing. Well, I guess there is that, and also just the way they dress. I don't mind. I don't mind. If my girl is sexy, then fuck, I don't, I don't mind. What about what she posts? I don't mind, too. I honestly don't mind, like, because it's like, I don't know, if, you were, if you're already revealing before I started dating you, then you might as well carry on posting. Yeah. I, don't, I don't really care. That was probably what made me date you, so. I love wow. You. Mm. Stop, stop peeking. <laughs> what the? These questions are crazy. Right? So why do guys go for girls that treat them like shit? Basically, girls that just don't, like, care much. Why do guys go for girls that treat them like shit? Why do girls go for guys that treat them like shit? I think it goes both <laughs> ways. Because I promise you, like, have you noticed, like, okay, for me, the guys I don't pay attention to a lot, they're the ones that are always texting me, like, babe, what are we doing? Babe, I miss you. Babe, I want to talk to you. I want to see you. Oh, but the ones guys. that I'm like, of oh, course. No, maybe even someone I had a thing with and would, like, stop having a thing and... You're still chasing yeah, just because I'm not Charlon. But the one I'm Charlon about is being all like a dick. I don't know. Part of my D word. She's she saying dick, man. That's nasty, man. What's the quality you look for in a wife? Wow. Okay, let me stop saying you. What's the quality guys look for in a wife? Yeah, well, you have to say you because this is like preference. Yeah. 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 In a wife, I cannot answer this question because it's deep. You can't give like three qualities? Like, what's the ultimate? All right, let me give three qualities. Don't say big booty. Respect. <laughs> big bomb bomb. You're crazy. No, no, no. Respect, loyalty, and beauty. Ooh, okay. So, um, how do you feel when a girl makes the first move? I really, I, I, I really like that shit. Though. I don't lie. I appreciate. It. I like that. Do you think guys like I've that? Never, yeah, I think, I think, I don't, I don't know if guys like it, but I feel like it's always a surprise because it doesn't happen. So it's not, bad. it's not and bad. And most of the time, if a girl's making the first move, she's probably rose. Do you know what I mean? Or she's probably just not up to your standard. <laughs> <laughs> you just said two different. You said that it's surprising. You would like that. Then you said she's probably rose. So no, are you trying, is he bad? It's bad. I saw some days, it's like, it's like my Instagram sometimes. I don't mind. I go to my request a message and I see some girls, it's like thirsty. No, those ones are different. Those ones are but they're making the first move. They're rose. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Like, no, yeah. what about in person? Like at the bar, at a party, at a restaurant? Just that's any, at the gym. Yeah, that's not bad. At the yeah. gym, at your the body gym. thirsty. Okay, let's take out gym. At a party. But why would you move to me at the gym when I'm... Damn, at a restaurant. There. My chest is out. Yeah, you just see what she's like. She's like, damn. Legs are out. Though. If a guy moves to you at the gym, are you going to give him a chance? I hate guys that move to you at the gym. I don't do it. Like, I will literally not take Same you seriously. Thing. It's weird. Especially those yeah. ones that like... Thirsty, they just want to fuck. If a guy moves to you at the gym as a girl, you probably just want to fuck. Because you're out here doing squats and doing all that nasty shit. Right. Okay, so I got a lot of questions like this. And I'm going to frame it the way they ask it. Like, so yeah. many people ask this. You got about money. No, it's not about money. I told you, my girls are ballers, like, period. So, what do men gain from being wicked? I feel like men are only wicked because women are wicked. Women have shown them. So it's a, yes, women are very wicked. Though. Oh, my God. I don't think men are wicked because let me tell you the difference between a man being wicked and a woman being wicked. A man is wicked unknowingly. So he doesn't know that he's wicked, but he's just doing like bad things. But a woman, she's wicked, she's spiteful, she will do wickedness, knowing that, yeah, I'm doing this shit, I'm wicked to this guy. 
I feel like you're making men seem very oblivious, ignorant, and like they are six year old kids, which they usually are, but like they need to grow the fuck up. Why can't men commit? There's too many like relationships I know that are actually doing very good. And like marriages I know that are actually I'm just joking. Which marriage is doing good? <laughs> I, know what I, mean. I don't know. I feel like it's it's back to what we said, agree, don't it? What do you think about guys that have female best friends in relationships? I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's bad. Female best friends, not female friends. Yeah, female, I don't think female best friends are bad. You know what I think? There's certain best friends that are like, certain female best friends are like sisters. If the guy gets a girlfriend or when the guy has a girlfriend, like the girl is like cool with the best friend. Do you know what I mean? Like the next mm-hmm. thing, they become best friends. Because right. it's, it's crazy because like my mom and my dad, right? My dad used to have this best friend. Or he still has his best friend. Mm-hmm. His best friend was a female when they started seeing each other. And now my mom's best friend is the woman. Oh wow, that's yeah. crazy. So that's what I'm saying. So female best friends are not bad. Yeah. I feel like girls who who get mad about female best friends. They're insecure. They don't not, trust not their really. Guys. It, it it goes both ways. There's mm-hmm. some there's some girls, some female best friends that are crazy. Like they don't they don't understand barriers and they don't oh, yeah. not barriers boundaries. boundaries. So they don't understand boundaries. and don't understand. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, there's some of them that are just lovely. Someone asked, are boring girls still attractive in the sense of girls that don't like to party, they like to stay indoor a lot, they just, you know, they wouldn't just be the ones to go to the club I don't with like you. that, I don't like that. I don't like boring girls, I don't like I've been with someone that was boring. How boring was she? When you say boring, like, can you just give like? I don't want to talk too much about it, but she was boring as hell. I didn't like that. But then it's like, at the same time, I don't like, like, the ones that party so much. And I don't think guys, I mean, there's a balance. I mean, don't be like outside, outside. Mm-hmm. For guys, guys don't really like the outside, outside ones. But then again, like you can't be like inside, inside. Mm-hmm. Let me even say this. One time I was dating someone, I was like, I think I was 17, 18. Mm-hmm. And it was kind of serious. I beg. And it was kind of serious. So <laughs> before I used to like go out partying, like club sometimes. Mm-hmm. Like I'll leave school and go. And like when I see this, this guy, he was so indoor. So if I propound us going out to the club, I just like no. Even when we traveled, we never went to the club, so it was really weird. Yeah, okay. I like going to the club with my girl, though. Yeah, but like we ne- like it was not his lifestyle. I found it quite boring though, because at least once in once in two months, can we just go out and like why are we always end up doing nothing? I like going to the club with my girl. Right? Oh my god, would it be rude to ask a guy to shave their chest hair? <laughs> <laughs> um, nah. If it's too hairy, yeah. like mm-hmm. I think you gotta go, man. Yeah, to be honest, sure. I would no. I would stylishly say it. I wouldn't like just like be like say? me personally. As long as see, I don't really, I don't really care much about the physical. Let me actually admit so you don't that. Like chest hair? Like, you like no, like I don't care much. Like if you have chest hair and I like you as a person, yeah, I don't think it would. I wouldn't. Like chest hair, like, no. What if the guy was like hairy on his chest, his back, legs. <laughs> Why can you stop? You're making it sound like a gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> What's all the bad? Hey, you know, that niggas like that though. I like Igbo niggas like that. <laughs> My brother is Igbo. Don't try me. <laughs> Yo, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, like the niggas like that though. They have hair on their chest, their back. What? Like, just. And you really like the guy as a person, but like the first time you guys want to have sex, he takes off his clothes. Hair. No, I can't deal with Mad hair down everywhere. there having hair. It's just not nah, like every, okay, you know what? Yeah, okay, them ones where too so because he has hair everywhere and then down there is now. <laughs> 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 I wish you a fool. If you can't shave them, why can't? <laughs> it doesn't even make sense. Like you'll be hairy, then not down there. That's space. <laughs> <laughs> so why do guys lose interest in the girl that they love? Well, they don't. They probably don't love the girl, man. Yeah. Like, they, yeah, they never loved her. Yeah, they never loved her. Yeah. I can't. I cannot lose interest in a girl that I claim to love. Mm-hmm. Things can happen that would make us break up, but lose is interest, interest? Yeah, that's is cute. deep, man. Oh, why are we saying the same thing? That's like jinx. So cute, jinx. 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 I said that. But you know, if I say jinx, you, you, like you can't talk. I, I, well, I was the one that said jinx, though. So I can't talk. Why are you still talking? The video is over there. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. So why are guys always in a hurry to have sex? I don't know. I feel like if a guy is in a hurry to have sex with you, maybe when he started talking to you, that was his first um aim, aim just to fuck. But if a guy, you know, for anything, if if a guy, if a guy, if you start talking to a guy and he's he's quick to want to fuck, he just wants to fuck. That that's his first thing. Right. The rest, anything he's telling you is fallacy. That's bullshit. Mm-hmm. He really want to fuck. Mm-hmm. But if a guy's taking his time with you, he actually wants to know you. Whew, this is interesting. Would you date a virgin? No, oh, I cannot date a virgin. Because I feel like sex um, runs a relationship. 
as a big a big part of sex runs a relationship. So, so we can have like an argument and like everything is heated up and they will make up and they are sucking my dick all night. What if she's even sucking? Are you doing Exactly. We go. We now we kiss. But what? Well, so <laughs> <laughs> and again, like, so are you trying to say you don't believe in sex before marriage? I don't believe in that. Why? Why don't you? I don't know. It's a Bible thing now. It's not really like. It's not a Bible thing. There's a reason why they, that is said. But what's the reason? It's a Bible thing. Because when you have sex with someone, you have a soul tie. That's why sometimes it's hard to detach from someone. Because ah. when you have sex, you have a soul tie. Yes. So that's why they say two becomes one. Because a soul tie is meant to be between you and whoever you end up having sex with. Which is preferably someone you get married to. Do you understand? Would you tell your girlfriend if you don't like her cooking? Her cooking? I can't do that, man. I can't tell my girlfriend I like her cooking. I have to manage. <laughs> you have to manage. Say, no, babe, don't cook. Don't rest. You're a baby girl. Yeah. Don't cook. We're ordering. Yeah. yeah. Or it's like, them ones where you manage and then let's say she gets one thing right. Mm-hmm. You'll not be eating that same That's thing. thing. Be, be your wings. I love it. As in your jello fries. Your jello fries. Yes. Guys don't tell girls a lot of things. Things like, like your cooking is bad or like your your pussy smells or your pussy is like, why? Oh my God, someone asked that. So you feel like, when someone's creature smells, you said you can't tell her. I can't tell her. You can't tell her. But then the problem now is it makes you uncomfortable. So what would you do? You can't manage that. Are you joking? So that's why sex before dating is needed because oh my God. a guy will never tell a girl that her mouth is buying. And a girl too, you already see when a girl will tell a guy that I'm a bre- like the guy's mouth smell. Can I tell you something? Yeah. There was this time I was dating someone and like, you know, one time he came to pick me up. We meant to go out. Me and like my girl. So he came to my house to pick me up. And... You know, he hugged me. I'm like, damn, your armpit is smelling. Like, I left him, like, the, the, the earlier on, and he wasn't smelling. I know he's a clean person. So I'm like, okay, I can't deal with that shit. Like, this was just, like, literally, was we're just fine. meant to go out. Yeah, it wasn't so bad, but it's like sweat. It's like you've just compressed yeah. everything, and you're wearing the same shirt you wear this morning. But that's different from mouth. No, no, no. Eh? You've never told Wait, do you know, I never told him. Wait, I never told him that. I never told him that, oh, you're smelling. What well, I did, I, I went upstairs. I told my girl, I was like, girl, this guy's she, I'm pretty smelling. I can't deal with this all night, bro. She's like, okay, see what? That she's, um, that she go downstairs and I should tell her, oh, babes, please bring your deodorant when you're coming. She had the spray deodorant. So, like, tell her, like I'll tell her, bring it when you're coming. And when I use it, I should just offer it, like, oh, do you want to use? Yeah. So, exactly, I promise you, it worked so That's perfectly. Fun. I came downstairs and I was like, oh, babes, um, please, can you pass your deodorant? She's like, okay, no problem. She brought it, she gave it to me. Then she left. She left so he won't be feel uncomfortable. I promise you, I didn't even like spray. He just said, he just did this and I gave it to him. It's like, yeah. I feel like maybe. No. Yeah. yeah, so I feel like if my guy's mouth is smelling or if your girl's mouth is smelling, you could just be like, oh, babes, our mouth was, uh, let's be, ah, uh, here you go, no, let's go and eat. I if promise you it trust works. Trust me, if your guy's mouth is smelling, you can't tell your guy that his mouth is smelling. I know something. People oh just be God. like, let me see. Uh-huh. They probably manage that day and hope that tomorrow it doesn't smell. If it's a continuous smell of breath, then you might be... Me, I didn't even manage for up to 30 minutes. You might be 10 like, minutes, gone. That's something. Breath is different from pits. Bro, are you joking? Breath is bad. Like, when a girl's mouth is smelling, yeah? Oh, my God. Was it? The yeah. girl is smelling. The old girl is yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, you should tell them. Fair enough. Because, honestly, put you I first. I gotta put me first. Yeah. I gotta put me first. You went to a TikTok. <laughs> Do you feel irritated when a girl tells you she's on her period? No, I don't. It's normal. It's natural. Okay, I think you stopped saying you. I think you're talking about guys. Yeah, they, I don't... I, <sighs> man, I don't... I'm a vouch from I'm a vouch from my agenda and tell you guys that we don't feel irritated. We think it's natural, man. It's normal, like it's blood coming out. It's like, it's normal. yeah, it's normal. it's normal. Okay, yeah. So, do guys prefer short girls to tall girls? I think so. I think they do. Guys, guys also like the idea of like tall girls, like taller than them. But most guys would just go for a girl that's shorter than them. Oh, we already answered this though. Okay. okay, but why do guys go after having sexual relations with a girl? Wow, that's different though. Because they just wanted to fuck. <laughs> that's the only thing. That's just it. That's, All right. it. that's that's simple, man. The guy just wants to fuck, so he's just gonna do it, ghost, and yeah. If he comes back for it, he's probably going around, asked everybody, no pussy available, and it's just the last option. Woo! Painful. Painful, man, but true. Why do guys refrain from sharing financial problems with their girl? I do the same thing actually, cause you you just I feel like guys they just don't wanna let their girls know what they have in their account because if if, if a girl knows what you have in your account she will spend that money for you man so uh, yeah and most of the times 
a guy will tell you his financial situation when the money is a lot in the account. When the money is nice, he's not going to tell you. But in general, I feel like most guys just stay away from even saying it, when it's a lot or not. Because when it's a lot and you tell the girl, eyes open and be like, fuck, this guy has this much money, I must enjoy it today. And then when it's too low, he's like, oh, this nigga is broke. Can never win. So just you know what I mean? Does blue balls affect men as much as they say it does? Like blue balls. Does blue balls affect blue men balls. as much as they say no, it does? No, it doesn't really. I don't think it affects men that much. It's just, oh, I wish I fucked. I didn't fuck. Ah, fuck. It's, you're yeah, angry about it. You're frustrated no. about it. Yeah, but blue balls. And most of the time, you know what's so crazy? Blue balls, Loki, is like, uh, it's so manipulative. Like, you can really? be telling the babe that, oh, oh, see, you're going to give me blue balls, I'll be. should not be like, okay, let me just suck your dick. Mm. <laughs> oh, my God. So, basically, it's all manipulation. It doesn't really hurt that much. I mean, sometimes, I don't You can know. just, like, handle it, though. Look, uh, every, every nigga can handle blue balls. Like you won't die. Your balls if you're immature. Balls. <laughs> balls are not <laughs> bad. What do you call it blue balls? It's such a white thing. Is it white? I think that's what a lot of people call it, though. Well, it's a white thing. Because what do you white, normally call white it? White people, when they feel that way, they go blue. Oh, right. That's why. All these black men. You're a bad boy. <laughs> blue balls, and they don't know don't nothing. Know. If a lady's coochie is hairy, would you be turned off? No, I would not be turned off. And I don't think guys would be turned off. Do men prefer BBL ladies to natural bodies? I don't know. I feel like that's not, that's not, it's, it's not a men thing. It's like some guys, it's a preference thing. Now, some guys... Some guys enjoy BBL, some guys enjoy natural bodies. And I mean, yeah, BBLs are cool. Natural bodies are amazing. So you already know my preference. He basically said he likes BBL. I so every other person is sorry. Oh. Anyway, ooh, oh my god, I have a good one. Okay. Is it true that men measure their dick size when they're alone? Be honest, don't lie. You. Yeah, some guys, some guys do it. It's a common thing. Did you ever do it? Yeah, I did it. Why do guys lie a lot? That's a good question. Is that a question? Yeah. Um, men lie, women lie. I see something that has to do with stupidness. Or something like that. Just like Kuchi. Boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I had so much fun creating this. Shout out to my friend. And I love you guys. See you next week. Mwah.